And oh, Romeo, oh, Romeo, where are you at, Romeo? What going on, Wanna? I'm Sanai. And I'm Auntie Shani. Welcome to Growing Up Gooding. Here at Growing Up Gooding, we learn how to fake, we learn about culture, and we discuss current events. And we hope you like what you see. And if you do, be sure to subscribe, like, and share with your friends. Did you do it? Anyway, um, today we're gonna be making sugar cookies. That's right. Valentine's Day is coming up and a great treat and gift for your Valentine is sugar cookies because who doesn't like those? So let's get to it. In a large bowl, cream together 24 tablespoons of butter, one and a half cups of sugar, and three tablespoons of cream cheese. Add one egg, two egg yolks, a teaspoon of vanilla, and a half a teaspoon of almond extract. Add a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of baking powder, and three and a half cups of flour. Be on low speed until the dough comes together. Wrap dough in plastic wrap. Chill in fridge at least for two hours or up to four days. Let's check the fridge. Yes, right. Grab your cookie dough. Did you put it in the freezer or the fridge yesterday? Freezer. I did not tell you to put it in the freezer. I told you to put it in the fridge. So when you put it in the fridge, um, it hardens, but not to this point where you see how it's so hard for you to cut it. That's because it's frozen. When it's in the fridge, it's just a little firm, not frozen. So now that it's frozen, we're going to have to let it um, sit for a bit to thaw out. Don't do this so, at kids. Yeah, you can put it in the freezer when you know, like, okay, I'm not baking anytime soon. Like, okay, I have this cookie dough, but this is for future use. You put it in the freezer. But if you're using it the same day or next day, you just put it in the Preheat the oven to 350 degrees. Unwrap your dough. Cut your dough in half and place the other half back in the fridge. Lightly flour your surface. Roll out your cookie dough. Use cookie cutter. Once you're done, place the cookies on your baking sheet. Bake the cookies for 10 to 12 minutes. Cool completely before decorating. Yeah. One Mississippi. Hold on now. Two Mississippi. Why are we in Mississippi? <laughs> Three Mississippi. 
Where are my Mississippians? Seven, Grenada. What? Eight, Jamaica. Oh. Nine, <laughs> Saint Lucia. Name, name the 13 independent countries, Corey Dillett. I'm going to be on spot. I'm trying to test me. <laughs> you the one who did it. <laughs> you started it. <laughs> your, your daughter was going with Mississippi, and you want to show off and start calling countries. I was not showing off. I was trying to get her to demonstrate <laughs> her, uh, her 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 knowledge, knowledge based mm. on previous episodes. Ooh, now tonight he put the heat on you. Show him what you got. <laughs> you just got served. Oh, Tennessee, Mississippi. <laughs> Um, California, Mississippi. The wrong way. <laughs> but we're talking about islands. Um, Barbados, Mississippi. Jamaica, Mississippi. Why is Jamaica and Mississippi <laughs> <laughs> Um, the West Indies, Mississippi. And then some other ones, Mississippi. Look, I'm done. All right. Yeah? Yeah. All right. So let's toss those in the oven uh, for about 10 minutes. Once they start to get slightly brown on the edge, you know they're ready to come out. You don't want them to, like, be dark brown on the edge. So they'll start to 10 minutes. Well, we'll watch them because everybody's oven is different. Let's throw them in there. Okay. So how long is it supposed to be on there? Because I didn't preheat my oven. Oh, Father God, help me. Y'all, how long we've been doing this? How, so basically what always, happened was... Hold on, you, you, you hold. Was, you hold. Hold on, auntie, 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 you auntie, hold. auntie, auntie. I'm auntie. talking to the people. Uh, I'm talking to the people. People, we've been doing this for almost six months now. Wait, August, September, October, November, December, January. Six months. That's anytime we bake, no. Anytime we bake, she has to preheat <laughs> the oven. Why would today Auntie, be different? Can I talk, yes. please? Go. Today I was trying, I was going to preheat it, but we already put the stuff on top of the stove and was still going before we um, put the stuff on the thing. So I just turned it up. So it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. But uh, yeah, I, I, I yeah. Please go preheat the oven. In the meantime, mm-hmm. let's talk about Valentine's Day. Please, can we? Tanai, how do you feel about Valentine's Day? What does Valentine's Day mean to you? Uh, go ahead. Please share your thoughts. Um, It's kind of right here-ish. I get the sense you have a beef with Valentine's Day. <laughs> No, I mean, it's just disgusting, kind of. Why is that? I love the flower giving and the chocolates, but um, I don't get why there has to be a national holiday just about love. I don't get that. Okay, that's fair. Love to be displayed every day, right? Yeah. Yeah, I don't I think there's that. just one day about that. So we can hate any other day except on Valentine's Day, that doesn't make sense to me. Well, I mean, I do hear you. Love should be celebrated every single day. Um, But I don't think that a holiday means that you should do the opposite on other days. So for instance, on Mother's Day, we celebrate mothers. That doesn't mean we treat mothers at any other day. And on Father's Day, we celebrate fathers, right? So it's just celebrating this specific thing on that day. Of course. Yes, back to our Valentine's Day discussion. So there are a lot of people who agree with you and feel like Valentine's Day is what is called a hallmark holiday, means that it was created by big business to make money because everybody goes out and buys all these flowers, chocolates, and gifts uh, on this random day just because. But no matter how you feel about Valentine's Day, whether you really enjoy it because maybe you get in all the nice gifts, or you feel <laughs> like it's uh, a waste of a holiday or they're forcing you to spend money you ain't trying to spend. Um, 
Here are some fun facts about or, how the holiday came to be. Okay, so apparently, no one's really mm-hmm. sure of the origin, but Valentine's Day is believed to have started uh, in the Roman Empire way, way back in the day. We talking AD. And under uh, the ruling of Claudius II, uh, there was a time of war and Claudius did not think that the men in the army should have girlfriends or women to get married because he thought that it made them weak. So there was a bishop named Valentine who would secretly marry uh, the men to their love. Uh, and and Bishop Valentine got in big trouble for it. He went to jail and he sent a letter from jail to his, um, I guess this was his lover, which is the jailer's daughter, and signed it, your Valentine, um, which is what we see now all the time, your beloved Valentine, boom, boom, boom. Anywho, Bishop Valentine was put to death for his crime on February 14th. And then in 1537, King Henry the Seventh of England declared St. Valentine's Day a holiday. Oh, I'm picking you. Go ahead. Question. Uh-huh. Why is that so dark? I don't know. I was <laughs> floored by it. I was like, oh, <laughs> it is a little dark. Um... <laughs> What a little um, <laughs> who would you say is the mascot of Valentine's Day? Um, I think that is Cupid, Auntie. Cupid, draw back your bow and let your arrow flow straight to my lover's heart. For me. For me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's, that's right. That's what I do not like about Valentine's Day. <laughs> Too Hater. much of that. Hater. So Cupid is the Roman god of desire and affection, hence why he is the mascot for the day. Um, what do you think the most popular Valentine's Day gift is? Ooh, chocolate and flowers. Chocolate wins. I'm sure flowers are a close second. Um, last fun fact. Uh, you know Romeo and Juliet, right? Have you heard of them? Oh, it's it like a play or a book. It is a play, a Shakespeare's, one of Shakespeare's most famous plays about um, a tragic love story, really. But it's one of the most popular love stories ever. And oh, Romeo, oh, Romeo, where are you at, Romeo? <laughs> 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 what hood version is this? <laughs> um, I don't know. <laughs> oh, Romeo. Oh, Romeo. Wherefore art thou, Romeo? Oh. Is, is how that goes. <laughs> well, I was um, close. Very close. I am proud of you. So you do know who Romeo and Juliet are. They are said to have lived in Verona, Italy. So every year, thousands of Valentine's Day cards are sent to Verona addressed to Juliet. Is Juliet yeah. a real person? Nope. She's the character from the book. So people write letters to imagine a person? Yeah, they seem to really, you know, it's like the epitome of love and the love story. So the part of the Valentine's Day tradition, I guess, for folks is to write a letter to Juliet. So that's it for our Valentine's Day fun fact. We all have someone who we love and who loves us. and. A Valentine's, I don't think, has to only be about a romantic mama, love. Your daddy. You got your mama. You got that's right. We have so many people in our lives who love us and who we love. So on Valentine's Day, I encourage you not to think of it as just a romantic holiday where you need a man or a woman or significant other, but a day just to celebrate all the love that's around us. No, no, no. It's about, we're going to call it the new day for women. Because, yes. Tell me more. uh, (laughs) I don't know. I just didn't want to call it Valentine's Day. Uh Uh-oh. I think they're ready. We smell something. (laughs) Is that ready, Mama? Yeah, that was ready. All right, we got to let them cool now. Very good. People, have you subscribed yet? Have you liked yet? Have you done it yet? All right. Our cookies are out of the 
oven. They are cool. And you want to make sure they're cool because otherwise when you put the icing on, it'll melt and run. Um, but the knives are ready to go. So she's going to ice them. So let's go. Hello. Alrighty, folks. So that's our. Alrighty, folks. So that was our episode on sugar cookies and Valentine's Day, uh, which is coming up soon. We hope you guys have some nice, fun plans to share your love and show your love with the ones you love. Tonight, tell them what they've got to do. And that was the episode of Saturday Night Live. Or not. You have to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and share with friends. Thanks awesome. for tuning in, and we hope to see you next time. Bye bye. Bye bye. Hello. Hi. Oh, yes. A two. Hello. Two. Three. Go. Okay. Take one. Nice. I like it. <laughs> Yeah, the, the men don't get treated get don't get treated the greatest on Valentine's Day. It's no, really about the don't. ladies. Yeah. But isn't that nice to have a holiday where we get treated? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ask, go ask your daddy what he got for Valentine's Day the daddy! last time. <laughs> what you get for Valentine's Day? Somebody cooked me air pies. <laughs> Air pies? That's a whole lot of nothing. Noah, my grandma had said Valentine's.